Good morning, my loving Tiffany Thinks family. How are you all? This morning I am all ready to go to work. I just need to put on some moisturiser and a little bit of concealer. Um, I just thought I will say hello to you this morning. I'm not feeling like wearing a lot of makeup this morning, so I'm just going to put on a little bit of concealer, just like that. And then I'm just going to blend it all in. I've been loving this brush. It's a Real Techniques crease brush and it's just the perfect size to kind of really blend underneath the eyes just to cover the darkness up. I like brightening this area up anyways. Yeah, I'm not really feeling like wearing a lot of makeup. I think it's because yesterday I wore quite a bit for work so today I kind of want my skin to breathe. Right, I'm going to set that all in place. The lighting is all over the place, but that's just because it's such a lovely bright day today. I'm all parked up and I'm going to put my hair back in the clip just because I don't like my hair being in my face, especially when I'm at work. I'm going to put on a little bit of this um, lip oil. which is kind of frozen because I've left it in the car. So I don't know, it's like frozen lip oil. <laughs> it's really cold, but it's, it feels really nice, but it's not my favorite. I've talked about this before. I am just using it up because I have it. I'm gonna take this because I like applying this to my hands where I'm washing my hands all the time. Um, I like to use aqua for and I use this on my lips as well so I'm going to take that taking a water bottle and then Matt gave me this it's a pan of chocolate just to have as a little snack just in case I'm hungry in between um, patients I have I'm trying not to have too much coffee and I'm not going to have one today so I'm probably going to get like a peppermint tea or just stick with water today because I do kind of rely on coffee every single day, so today might be the day where I don't have one. Right, let's go in now. I also need to tell you, actually, I don't have that much time. I'll tell you really quickly. Um, I've passed my life coaching course. If you watched my video, my last video, then you know that I submitted my last essay. And yes, I got an email saying I've passed. So in six to eight weeks, I will get a little certificate. Oh my goodness. I'm really, really, really happy. Um, right, let's go, let's go. I've got a cancellation. So I have got a little bit of a break. I've put the heating on. I'm not really hungry, but I know I should eat something and I've got the pan of chocolate in my handbag. Um, actually, I'll leave it for a little while and see how I get on. I don't like eating first thing, you know, I like to kind of get my body moving. I don't know, I just don't feel hungry in the mornings. Some people wake up and feel extremely hungry. I'm not like that. It takes me a while to get where I think about food, you know, when I start thinking, right, what shall I eat? <laughs> Also, this is your little reminder. If you've not had your eyes tested, get it tested. Just a little reminder. Sometimes, you know, um, you don't go and see your optometrist unless you have problems, and that's not what you should do. Like, go and have a routine eye test, even if everything's okay. Sorry, I thought someone was coming in. Um, in the evening, I'm gonna go see my cousin and her partner. I think we're going out for dinner. I feel like I can't wait to go and see her and spend some time with them and super excited. There's some days that when I'm at work, I just think about going home and just relaxing and watching TV and just snuggling up on the sofa. But today I'm actually really excited to kind of put on some makeup, get ready for the evening, and Matt's coming as well. You can see over there, I've just put the heating on. I wanna make this room a little bit warmer. I have honestly been loving this diary for work. It's the perfect size, I'll show you. So, this is the size of my pen, and I bought a little pen holder, and I've stuck it in there, and it's just been so nice to not have to carry a really heavy, you know my bullet journal is quite big, this is perfect. 
yeah, I'll talk to you like this. Um, I'm using my phone, so that's why the quality is not the best. But I was saying, you know, my bullet journal is very, it's not big, big, but it's bigger. And I'm also carrying around my equipment and things in my handbag. So it's nice to have a little kind of diary that's kind of solely for work and to-do lists. And I write down plans and things that I need to do around the house. Just anything I feel like I need to write, I use this. So I'm glad I got one of these. I usually just have a bullet journal and that's it, but it's nice to kind of separate everything out. Okay, my little break time is over. Back to work. It is so nice to finish up with work and it still be bright outside because normally it's so dark and miserable. So I'm hoping we're gonna get some warmer, some warmer days and brighter days. I have come home to so many surprises from Matt. I'm just like really excited. Let me show you, right? I shown you this plant pot, didn't I? And I said I needed to get a plant for it. So he bought me a little plant from the garden center and then he also picked up a little pot for this plant. Look at that, really happy. And you think that's it? That's not. Then he went to Boots and I always talk about the Soap and Glory shower gel. This reminds Matt of when I used to live in Tunbridge because in my little shower, I would have um, the scrub and the shower gel. And anytime Matt was, you know, sometimes Matt would go for a run and then he would come and use my shower when I used to live in Tunbridge. And he would use this as well. So he bought me another, he bought a mini size and then it comes with a little body butter. And then another thing he got me was a little mouthwash for me to keep in my bag because with the job that I do, it's a lot of talking and talking quite close to people as well. And um, you always have to have a good breath. And I always want a little one for my bag. I don't want to have a big um, mouthwash. That's what this is. I don't know if I said what this was. So yeah, I've come home to loads of little gifts and I, that makes me really happy because it's just a little surprise. We need to get ready, you know, because we're going to go to my cousin's and spend the evening with her. So I'm going to kind of sort this situation out. Although I'm not feeling like wearing a lot of makeup. I do. I think I probably will. I don't know. We'll see how I get on. We'll see. I might have something small to eat now because we're going to go out for dinner, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I forgot to vlog what I had, but it's all gone. Everyone else is still eating away. <laughs> we got a drink. Some depends what happens. Good morning, my loving Tiffany Thinks family. How are you all? It's the next day. I wasn't the best at vlogging last night. We were just having such a great time. We were laughing so much. And honestly, I forgot to pick up the camera. I don't remember picking up the camera a lot at all in the evening. And it's just been such a nice couple of days. We had Matt's family come over from Ireland as well. So it's just been such a really lovely January. And I'm usually Januarys aren't the best month. But honestly, this January has felt amazing. I have had such a great month. It feels like I've had a really good start to the year and I hope you have as well. I just feel like we put a lot of pressure on ourselves, kind of like new year, new me, but I think it's just, for me, it honestly felt feels like a fresh start. I guess I'm not doing anything different. I'm just kind of appreciating each moment and I honestly love making memories with my loved ones that's all that's all I care for and um yeah we've had such a lovely couple of days I am thinking of getting ready and going to see Amma I was going to stay around clean the place and every week I like to do a little kind of cleaning session but Amma just called me and she said that Ella is around and I'm thinking, right, I can put the cleaning on hold for just to go and see my little niece and just give her a little cuddle. And I also have an appointment today for my vitamin injection. So not, not a lot is going on today, but I just thought I should kind of pick up the camera and talk to you. So many of you really liked the video that I posted on Sunday. And I read the comments as well. So I am going to do Tea with Tiffany Thinks on a Tuesday, 
but not every Tuesday because I think I would run out of things to talk about, isn't it? So I think I will kind of, on some random Tuesdays, I will do kind of a sit down, chit chat kind of video and answer some of your questions and just have a conversation with you because it is nice to kind of open up and answer the questions you've got for me and I feel these videos are very much kind of my day-to-day -day family my life kind of style and the sit down videos will be more me opening up telling you how I'm feeling and answering questions and I think it's nice to kind of sit down and have that chit chat with you and I feel as if I have gone through a lot so if I can help you by talking about something that you want me to talk about I will do so so let's do that I think last time when I did tea with Tiffany thinks I put pressure on myself to do every Tuesday and then I just run out of things to talk about or or I really struggle to try and get three videos out that's why I'm thinking let's just kind of not have a schedule and then I think I enjoy it more. When I put pressure on myself, I'm like, oh my goodness, I need to put this video out on this day, I need to do... Instead, it's gonna be a very chilled kind of vibe this year. It's gonna be, that's kind of how I want my life to be. So that's how YouTube is gonna be as well. So this year is just gonna be a relaxing, fun, good year. And I hope you're having the best year as well. It is, I can't believe one month is done. So, 11 months to go. <laughs> also, do you know how I've been talking about getting a desktop? Basically, my laptop has completely shut off. It's so weird. It's making all these like random lines on the screen. I don't know if it's my fault because basically I was trying to shut the laptop down and when I did so, there was something on the keypad bit and so when I was pushing it down I think I've damaged the screen so it's so weird how I'm getting my desktop and now my laptop needs to go for repair so that needs to be done I think when I go pick up my desktop I'm gonna ask them if I can drop off the laptop a little bit annoying because I am um, I do like having my laptop with me, like I'm going to see Amma, so I would have taken my laptop with me. So that's okay, at least it means today is a day away from the screen. I think it's important to have days like this, although today I did want to do a few laptop bits and bobs, but that's okay, it's a sign to kind of just shut off from editing, shut off from looking at my emails, blah -dee blah Right, let's get ready to go. I'm nearly there. I was listening to Classic FM and I don't think that's the vibe when you're driving because it just makes you feel really, really calm. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I never listened to Classic FM but it was just on and I thought, let me try it. I feel super zen. I feel really like, but I don't think that's the vibe when you're driving. You need to be listening to upbeat music. <laughs> I'm thinking about Valentine's Day. Matt and I, we don't really do, we don't really do a lot on Valentine's Day because for me, I feel as if, I feel every day should be special and not just on Valentine's Day. But this year we both have the day off, which is so weird because we never, we never planned it. We just have the day off on, on Valentine's Day. So I'm thinking maybe we could go for a really nice long walk if the weather is good and then get a coffee. <laughs> Basically what I do every day anyway. <laughs> Look what we're doing. Ella, you wanna say hi? Hiya. Hi. Hiya. Hiya. Hi. Amma and Varney and I are here. Hi. Woo -woo -woo. Hi. We're just drawing on the whiteboard. Hi. Yeah. 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 Hiya! Hiya! Look what Amma made. She made like a whole bowl full of chambel, which is coconut and spices. What we're doing, well, Vanyan has already started, we're having um, bread. Toasted bread and sambal is a vibe, it's so yum. I had a little nap on the sofa. I wasn't planning to, but I think it's where the heating's on and I feel really calm. I ended up having a little snooze. 
Um, I hope that doesn't, I really hope that doesn't mess up my sleep tonight. I don't think I slept for too long, so it should be okay. I need to now go and get my vitamin injection. What time is it? Yeah, by the time I get there, it will make sense. I am so tired. I did play with my little niece. She's so cute. She's at that age where she understands and she's so loving. It's so nice to see her kind of change and just become her own little person. Oh my goodness, I think I left it. Um, I think I'm gonna be late. I don't know, there's traffic. I think it's because it's school time. I'm so silly um, and there's no parking. So I've had to go around. So hopefully this time I will get parking. It should be okay, to be honest. If I get parking this time round, I won't be late. Oh, I hate being late. In my diary, I put a certain time for the appointment and usually I always put kind of 10 minutes before the actual appointment time. So I'm hoping I won't be late. My hair is, I've lost my hair band as well. So, okay, finally found a spot here. Let me park up. I need to go, I need to kind of rush through. Okay, not the time. This is not the time. Right, I'm not gonna be late. So I've just parked up a little bit further just because I don't wanna park on the main road when there's so many cars and then you have to park really quickly. And you know when there's so much pressure and you're holding the road, you know when there's loads of cars and everyone's watching you. I feel like, you know when you're in a rush and you try to park, especially on the main road with all the cars everywhere, the parking always messes up. So this is a good spot, it's away from, nice open space so it was an easy park um, let's go I look super disheveled it does look like I just woke up from a nap doesn't it <laughs> look at my hair <laughs> all done right vitamin injection done if you're wondering which one it's the b12 I get this done every three months so my next one will be in April end of April ish so I need to put it in my diary and then I book it in um, I've also ordered some multivitamins as well I'll show you those the vitamins that I'm kind of I've always taken the, the d3 and I wanted to take magnesium because apparently magnesium really helps you to sleep so I'm gonna try it and see I think I've got the 500 mg, I've ordered it, and I ordered Amma one as well to help her get better sleep as well. Um, get better sleep as well, sorry, I don't know what that was. So let's try all these multivitamins and see how I get on. Matt's cousin also recommended this liquid one, so I've reordered that as well, just to kind of be better with my vitamins. And as you all know, I've now, got a stoma so I need to be better at making sure I've got all the nutrients and be better with all that. I feel like I haven't really talked to you but I think I mentioned it a little bit briefly but you all know I've actually passed the life coaching course and it feels amazing. I'm still waiting on my little certificate. I haven't really talked about it much, I don't think, but I feel I feel as if something's missing because normally whenever I have any spare time, I'm just typing away, thinking about essays and Harvard referencing and things. So it just feels really weird that it's all completed and yeah, I really, really enjoy the course. I think I want to, I want to keep studying. I really enjoy reading and understanding and learning. And I haven't done it since university. Of course, we still do the CPD points. So when you finish optometry, that's not it. You're always kind of learning and studying and doing courses with optometry. But it's nice to kind of study something different and just learn something else. And it's really helped me because it's made me, with the life coaching course, it's really given me tips and I just feel a bit more confident and um, yeah I'm just really proud of myself to do to complete a whole course oh I need to put petrol in the car should I do that now actually I'll do that in a bit it should last me 
Hello my loving Tiffany Thinks family, it's the next day. I have had a lovely morning, went to church and went for the morning mass and I feel really good. I feel any time I go to church in the mornings, I feel really good. The rest of the day just goes smoothly and I'm in a calm state. Anytime I'm off work, I need to remind myself to wake up in the morning and just go to mass because if it makes me feel good, I should just be doing it. I'm drinking a coffee, which is scrumdiddly umptious, but I've also got some warm water, so I'm gonna balance out the caffeine. <laughs> I don't think it works like that, but lots of water today. I spoke about um, the vitamins briefly yesterday, and I just wanted to show you because the Amazon package came through. I did order everything off Amazon just because I I thought if I wait to go to Holland and Barrett's, I'm just going to... I want the vitamins ASAP, so I just got it from Amazon. I got this as well, which I'll show in the next video. It's basically for my table. I've talked about this a lot, but I want to organise my table with my desktop, so I bought this. It's called a... What's that actually called? I don't know the actual official name, but it's a table mat. So I can put my keyboard, mouse that situation I don't I'll open this in the next video right this is a repurchase this was recommended by Matt's cousin and she said this is really really good so we've had a bottle before and I've just forgot to repurchase it and it's got all the vitamins that I need it's called the ultra plus multivitamin food supplement it's a liquid one so you just have to pour 15 milliliters and just take it as a shot. Need to do that as well. And then I got, this is a repurchase as well. I used to be obsessed with taking tablets and multivitamins because my diet is, I feel as if I don't eat enough, especially now, I don't eat enough vegetables and I worry about my stoma, so I should be kind of stocking up on vitamins. So this is good because this has vitamin A. I get the vitamin B12 injection, don't I? So that's good. But this also has a little amount of vitamin B12. It has folic acid, it's got zinc, it's got iodine. It's got everything in small amounts. So I like this for that. Then I wanted to take omega-3. This is 2000, whoops, hold on a moment. This is 2,000 milligrams, so I'm going to start taking this again. Vitamin D3, again, just a repurchase because I've run out. And the vitamin that I'm so excited for is this. It's magnesium in 500 milligrams. This is meant to help you with when you're feeling tired. And like I'm hoping it's going to help get me to sleep because you all know I'm struggling with a bit of anxiety especially at night time so I'm gonna try and take this and see if that helps I think it's one tablet yeah one tablet per day I have a few other vitamins that I want to take such as folic acid and is it what was the other one folic acid and there's another vitamin but I want to ask my doctor before I start taking those but for now this is kind of my supplements that I'm going to take every morning. I should have taken this before my coffee. Um, that's a little bit annoying, but that's okay. Tomorrow I'll take this before my coffee. This morning I went for, I'm getting a hot flush as always, but this morning I went to mass and then I went for a really nice walk. It, the weather, it's not that it's, I'm just happy it's not raining, do you know? I love that it's not raining. It is a little bit cold, but it's okay, you know? So I went for a nice walk and I honestly feel really happy with how my mornings are or my days off. It just feels so good and I feel on my days off, I need to make that effort to just leave the house because for me now, that makes me happy when I feel, I feel as if I've done something good for my body with my lungs and my heart and get my heart rate up and, just breathing in clean air is so important. And I think I, I really, I didn't used to do that. I think before, you know, when I was ill, where I was so unwell, I, the last thing I wanted to do was walk, whether I was in pain or whether I was bleeding or my mental state wasn't, I never ever thought, right, I'm going to go for a walk because I just wasn't feeling it. It wasn't, 
I was just trying to get through the days. Even when I walk past and I see a beautiful tree, I really kind of just appreciate it and I'll take a picture of it. Just for, I don't send it to anyone. I don't post it on Instagram or anything. I just take it for myself. I don't know if any of you are like that, but I really, really just really appreciate every moment and I'm, I'm so, so, so blessed and I, rem I remind myself that every day. And I think that's why I'm this way because little things is making me really excited and really appreciative and I want to live like this for the rest of my life. I really hope I live like this for the rest of my life and just remember, remind myself that going for a walk and just breathing clean air is a blessing. I'm going to end the video here just because I'm merging the days together and this is video I want out for Thursday. So happy Thursday if you're watching it on Thursday. I love you all a lot, a lot, a lot. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and join my loving Tiffany Thinks family. My Instagram, Facebook and TikTok is Tiffany Thinks. I'll see you on Sunday for another video. Bye. Psh.